We're going to take our knowledge of slope and combine it into this cool form called slope-intercept form. But we know about slope, so let's talk about intercepts. So if you look at this graph, it describes what an intercept is. So the y-intercept is the spot where it crosses the y-axis, and the x-intercept is the spot where it crosses the x-axis. So let's fill in some blanks. The x-intercept of a line is the x-coordinate of a point where the line crosses the x-axis. And it occurs when the y value is zero. If you look at the spot over here, the x-intercept has a y value of zero. And that's true all the time. Now on the flip side, the y-intercept of a line is the y-coordinate of a point where the line crosses the y-axis and it occurs when x equals zero. So if you look at the picture, the x value is zero when you're on the y-axis, and that occurs all the time on the y-axis. So now that we know what intercepts are, let's combine them into slope-intercept form. Now the general formula for slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b where m represents the slope, which we talked about in the last lesson, and b represents the y-intercept. So there's our formula, and m represents the slope, and b represents the y-intercept. So let's just first practice finding the slope and intercept given the formula. So in letter a, the, if the form is y equals mx plus b, negative 4 is representing the m because it's the number that's in the slope spot where the m would be. And be careful, the b value is actually negative 2 because the formula says plus b, but this says minus 2, which means that the b value must have been negative 2 in order for it to be plus negative 2, which becomes a minus. So you have to pay attention to the signs as well. Now when you get to letter b, you look at the form and you say, well, the formula says y equals, and this says y minus 5 equals, so is that the same? And the answer is no, it's not the same. So what you have to do is, just like what we did with equations, you have to take this minus 5 and move it over to the other side. So we're going to add 5 to both sides, and then we can't combine them because they're not like terms, so we just keep it 3 halves x plus 5. Now you can identify the slope and the intercept using the m and b from the formula. So m is 3 halves and b is 5. Okay, that's it. Now we take those skills and we put them onto a graph. So we have to graph this equation, negative y equals negative 3x plus 3, and then later we'll identify the x-intercept, but that comes later. So the first thing that we do is, just like we just did, let's just first say what the m and the b are. So the y is by itself, so we can just say the m is negative 3, and the b value is 3. But what does that really mean? Okay, so here's what we do. The first thing that we do is we just make our coordinate grid, right? So make your four quadrant coordinate grid, x and y. And here are the steps. The first thing that you do is what we already did, which is find m and b. Okay, check, number two. Then what you do is you plot the y-intercept, which we know is b. So the y-intercept is actually the point 0, 3, because it's hitting the y-axis at 3. So let's put a dot right here at the y-intercept of 3. Okay, check. Step 2 done. Number 3 is to count boxes 
using the slope to find more points. So what does negative 3 mean? Well, negative 3 means as a slope, negative 3 over 1, remember I told you slope is usually written as a fraction, and then if you recall back to our slope lesson, that meant down 3, right 1. So from this point right here, I'm going to go down 3, right 1, and put a dot right there. Now I'll do it again. Down 3, right 1, put a dot right there. Let's do it one more time. Down three, right one, put a dot. Perfect. We've got a line. And now I have to identify the x intercept. Well, the x intercept is right here at the point one. So the x intercept is one, zero. All right, and that's graphing a little faster than what the way that we did it before where we would have to make a table, plot points. So um, when we have this technique, you can really graph a line a lot faster than using the table method. But the table method is always really helpful if you're not sure what the graph is supposed to look like. Let's move on to example three. The cost y in dollars of taking a taxi x miles is 2.5x plus 2. And letter A says graph the equation. So we're going to look at our steps. Step one is to find the M and the B. So let's do that. So M is, well, okay, so M is 2.5, but that's not really helpful. Let's turn that into a fraction. So 2.5 as a fraction is the number, well, that's a mixed number, 2.5, but the best slope is going to be 5 halves. That's what 2.5 is as a fraction. And then the B value is 2, which we know as the point, 0, 2. So these are the important things that we need to, to graph the line. Now step 2 is to plot the y-intercept. So let me make my grid first. And I'm only going to make it first quadrant. And you know why, because we can't be negative. You can't have negative dollars, and you can't have negative time. So let's see. So I'm going to put a dot at 0, 2 on the y-axis because that's what step 2 says to do. There's 0, 2. Now we go up to step 3. Step 3 is count boxes using the slope to find more points. So the slope is 5 halves. So I'm going to go up 5, right 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's my dot. I went up 5, right 2. Now, if I can fit it, I'll do it one more time. One. Oh, perfect. Up five, right two. So there's my line. Connect the dots. All right, so that's letter A. Check. Done. Letter B says to interpret the y-intercept and the slope. So we've always interpreted the slope, so we should be able to do that. And if you don't remember interpreting, go back to lessons 4, 2, and 4, 3. Interpret means to write a sentence using the labels. So the easier one to do that we've done before is the slope. Um, so 5 over 2. And you could do the 2.5 over 1. Actually, let's do that. 2.5 over 1 is the slope. And that stands for dollars, and this stands for miles. So um, that means, so 2.5 means you pay $2.50 for every mile. Now let's do the y-intercept. The y-intercept is the point zero two. So zero two means when you have zero miles, you have two dollars. 
But, like, that's weird. If you haven't really moved at all in a taxi, why are you paying $2? And if you've ever ridden a taxi, a lot of times there's a fee just to get in the taxi, and then they start charging. So that's what it is. So 0, 2 means uh, before you go anywhere, you pay $2. Alright, if you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.